and you've just started filming a new documentary, Fatherhood. Fatherhood with my father. Fa no, oh, oh, that's with the, my well, father. Oh, I thought Tra I was... Uh, uh, yeah. Fatherhood with my father. Flogging the dead horse with my father. No, uh, the... Uh... <laughs> 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 yes, I'm doing a documentary about fatherhood. Um, and, yes... That... And who's that for? That's for Netflix. So I'm doing four episodes for Netflix, and it's a sort of documentary where I discover, um, you know, everything there is to know about parenting and being a father. What is the main thing that you've learned since you have a child now? Oh, no, I... I... Well, I, I don't, I'm at the beginning of this journey. Can I throw it back to you? What advice would you give me? Put that cookie down. No, <laughs> 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 no, I, I think that the, the important thing... Well, my wife and I, we kind of split up the responsibilities. Yeah. Uh, she was in charge of education and of... Uh, Make them really good human beings. Yeah. Mm. And uh, <laughs> I'll let my girlfriend and, take uh, that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I was in charge of the discipline. And uh, so have. I made the kids, to, you know, I taught them how to turn off the lights when they leave the room, uh, not to waste water because, you know, we have droughts in California, mm. um, how to wash their own clothes. By the time they were like five, six years old, they had to wash their own clothes and their bed wow. sheets and make their A own five beds. Five and six, oh. yeah? Make their own beds, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so I taught them how to do that. Yeah. Uh, my crazy. wife did not know how to do that, but I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, you know, so firm with I knew how to do that, uh, and, and because I lived long enough by myself, and so I always washed my own clothes. And I also learned it in the military how to iron, how to sew on buttons, and how to sew things and stuff like that. So I kind of used all of that, and when we went skiing, um, you know, my, my, my kids started crying after one run, and they said, Can we get hot chocolate? You know, we are cold, and I said, there will be no hot chocolate. Yes. <laughs> uh, said, uh, we're going to do four runs, yeah. Yeah. and then after four runs, there will be hot chocolate. <laughs> so we were out there for an hour and a half. We were skiing, and then we were going, getting the hot chocolate, and they were crying. It was... They were, they, they were, they were, they were, they were uh, but the, in, interesting thing, the interesting thing about it is that the day my kids, uh, even though they were crying then, yeah. but the day they come to me every single winter, when we go skiing, and they go skiing with their friends, they come to me and say, thanks very much, Dad, for making us ski hard, because we are skiing much better than any of our friends. Okay. We can ski anything. We love that you did that. Thank you very much. And they're doing now, Catherine has a daughter that's three years old, and she's already making her ski, and she says to her, there will be no hot chocolate. <laughs> 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 <laughs>